your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, friends, another beautiful morning. Wore long sleeves today, so I um, wouldn't be uncomfortable in my short walk to the car. So mm -hmm. a little chilly, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little I think chilly. it feels good. It's a nice, nice. change. Uh, we mm -hmm. know what's looming here over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. The heat and humidity will come roaring in. That's why you really just have to kind of savor a morning like this. But yeah, again, another morning I was like, oh, should I go back inside and get the coat? Decided against it. We will warm up here as we go through the rest of your morning. By mid morning, about 9 30, 10 o'clock already be in the low to mid 70s, but it is a fantastic morning, both visually and comfort wise 565 traffic right now. I see headlights and tail lights. That's a good sign. 61 degrees right now. Huntsville International Airport. We go down the road. And here's Hudson Memorial Bridge and we have visitors this morning. This is the American Symphony. It's out on a river cruise, but docking this morning in Decatur looked beautiful. I shared the sunrise and the boat all lit up this morning. It is on my Facebook page if you want to go check that out. But uh, I know it stops by periodically through the summer, but I just saw it pop up and I said, hey, might as well show that camera. Temperatures 52 in Pulaski, 51 Winchester, 53 in Cool Fort Payne. Good morning. 58 Decatur, 59 out there in Moulton, still hanging out to low. 60s in parts of northwest Alabama, including the shoal. So a somewhat cool start. You might want to have some kind of an extra layer, but we quickly warm up here. Really a fantastic day to spend some time outside. Light wind out of the north, three to seven miles per hour, and that will keep our humidity levels very low and refreshing. I don't think you'll get away with turning the air off and just having the windows open and the fans going because we will still be close to 80 degrees. But if that's uh, that's your choice, I'm not going to tell you what to do around lunchtime. Great day for a picnic outside at one of our beautiful parks. We're in the mid to upper 70s. Not as breezy as what we've had the past couple of days as well, but no clouds with us all the way through the evening commute. We stay mostly clear overnight, and that will keep our temperatures refreshing for tomorrow morning. Waking up tomorrow morning in the mid 50s to low 60s. Please cut your grass by the end of the week. Friday afternoon, a prime opportunity when you get home from work. I know that's the last thing you want to do starting your weekend, but you might not have an opportunity to do so over the weekend as we are tracking the return of rain showers and storms. Tomorrow, your Friday is kind of our transition day. We'll start to see more of a southeasterly wind that will raise our humidity levels. We'll start to see some more clouds pushing in through the day too. Any rain showers and maybe some rumbles of thunder holding off until very late Friday evening. Then parts of the day, keyword parts of the day on Saturday, we'll be dealing with some rain showers and storms. And you'll see that here on future radar. Here come the clouds through tomorrow afternoon. Still a pretty warm day. Temps in the upper 70s to mid 80s. Future radar bringing in a big cluster of storms and heavy rain from the west, but it starts to actually weaken it a bit as it approaches late tomorrow night into your Saturday morning and then for parts of the day on Saturday as well as your Sunday. We're still dealing with periods of rainfall. It will not be start to finish rain, but the rain can be heavy from time to time and we might see a few isolated storms producing some 30 mile per hour winds.